Hey folks, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Today we're going to do a little bit of problem solving. Now, the problem in question involves this big tank. Well, three factors really, maybe four. But it's this big tank, so this is my discus tank, my display tank in my living room. Second factor is this nice new real wood floor. And third factor is this idiot that can't remember what he was doing five minutes before he was doing it or after he was doing it. So, as I've talked about before on this channel, I've got this big tank here. When I do water changes, we go out into the balcony there, dump all the water out, and then fill back in from an HMA filter. And what I would normally do is, you've heard me talk about this before, I've got an automatic system where I can just stick a hose in, it'll take out a little bit, I can press a button and it'll refill. But when I want to do big water changes, I might drop it a little bit more uh, and then I manually fill it back up. The last time I did this was a couple of days ago and what I did was I started filling it back up, went away, did a few other things. Brain obviously just said, eh, it's not important, we don't need to worry about that. And the next thing I knew was when this is actually on the second floor, uh, the first floor rather, when I was on the ground floor and water started coming through the door joints downstairs. Ah, run upstairs and all this floor all around here was just completely flooded um, roughly half an hour or so of pouring water in at full blast so as you can imagine the good lady wife was not best pleased with me and I was not very popular so we dived into it all we do then is get <laughs> we've kind of got a routine I've done it that often that we've got a routine for this get all the towels that we can in the house, chuck them all down, straight out onto the balcony, and then I've got like a shop vac, a vax hoover, um, that we can suck up most of the water. We've even had all these, um, uh, the wood flooring panels, tiles, floorboards. They've all actually been glued in place, so no nothing drips through that way, it all goes out to the edges and down that way. But it still makes a right mess if I keep doing this, so we need to come up with a solution. Now, I used to have a battery operated um, water alarm that I could have in when I had the old tank, but it, it just stopped working, so I don't know what's going on. So I'm looking for something a little bit more high tech, and I've come up with this. So a couple of clicks and a day later and we have this which is the Wasserstein or Wasserstein smart Wi-Fi um, leak detector, water detector. Uh, so you get this two foot cable which is the actual um, sensor here. It just plugs into this bit and this piece here is essentially just a Wi-Fi unit uh, and a battery. So it, it did say in the thing that it was a rechargeable battery but not the kind that you plug in and recharge, so I think you need to take this out and put it into a battery charger. But you essentially get this little module, and what you've got is a little siren, battery, and then a PCB with a Wi-Fi chip on it. And at this end, you've got the on-off button. And it says the battery is good for a year on one single charge, and both the unit and the sensor come with a little um, sticky pad, so you can stick it on something. So the first thing you have to do is take the little shield off the battery so it makes the unit active and then on your phone you have to download the corresponding app so iOS or Android whatever it is oh so far so good the the unit itself I picked it um, mostly because it had the word smart in the title and I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff it had a couple of negative reviews but they were all to do with a uh, difficulty of connecting it to your um, home router or home phone I've not had any of those issues, so they are not my complaints with this unit, but it is what it is. Uh, when you get it going, the idea is these two little pins here, if they sense water, then they set off an alarm, which in its simplest form should be... I don't know if you can hear that, that's me dipping it in and the alarm sounding. I shall dim that a little bit for your ears, so I'm not giving anyone headphone shocks. Um, but you get the audible alarm, but that's not really what I wanted. I wanted something that would alert me, either through the Amazon voice assistant that I have throughout the house, 
or notifications on my phone. And you can see I do get the notifications. So that bit works great. The downsides to this are that the alarm is not that loud. Um, so I probably wouldn't hear it if I wasn't in the room. And the only reason I'm going to flood the room is if I'm not in the room. So there is that. The notifications are fine, but they, they're not push notifications. They only work if your phone is on the same Wi-Fi network as this is. And this only works on a 2.4 gigahertz network, not on a 5 gigahertz network, which is what I generally use around the house. But fine. I think we just need to get this fitted. It will serve a purpose, but it's probably not the one I'm going to settle on. Um, there's, uh, if you're a geek, there are services like If This Then That where you can set up routines. So I can set up something that will say, well, if I get this notification on my phone, then send this notification to Alexa and then she'll let me know wherever I am in the house. Just waiting for Alexa to now chime in and say, what do you want? Next thing, I guess, is just to fit this. So we'll go ahead and do that. So one of the things I liked about this is it comes with these sticky pads, as I told you before. These tend to be things that you they seem to want you to put them onto water lines themselves and they detect changes in the water pressure. So this is actually quite a simple unit, so that's why I wanted it. And it doesn't require me to drill into anything. Um, what I was planning on doing was putting the sensor down here because I've got this little shelf on the bottom of the, the sump. It's a little sump tray if you like. So if the sump overflows when I'm doing a water fill, because this is the bit that overflows, not the top tank, uh, I'll feel it here first, but what I'm actually going to do is put it to the top of the glass so as it gives me 10 minutes or so to get in and sort it out before it becomes a problem. So I'm actually going to stick this here, quite near the top. Shouldn't be getting water there under normal circumstances. And then in theory this bit just needs to go somewhere where I can access it easily and it's not going to be blocked for um, Wi-Fi or anything like that. So I put it on this wall, I think I'll put that there. So I can still get at it and change the battery. And jobs are good in. So I'll just take this little cup of water. You should hear a beep. There you go. So not the loudest beep in the world. And then this should alert. So, not the fastest thing in the world. Is it going to work? There we go. It didn't light up the screen, but it did make a noise and it did beep. Um, so, I've got, I don't know if you can see that, but water alarm so that lights that off what I can also do is I can customize that to rather than just be a vibrate I can make it ring the phone or special ringtone or special noise anything like that so that'll do so I think that's probably a start it's maybe a stopgap to a proper solution I might build on it and if anybody's interested let me know and I maybe make a follow-up video about how I can spread those notifications around make it a bit more of a robust solution but I've got a fail safe I'm not going to completely destroy this floor Hopefully, um, because if I do, I might need to find somewhere else to live. Anyway, thank you for joining me. As always, if any of this was even remotely interesting, click that subscribe button, click the bell notification. Uh, let me know in the comments what you thought, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for joining me. Bye.